Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make the YouTube logo in Photoshop. It's quite simple. Well, I'm just going to try and make it as quick as possible. So it won't be exact, it'll be very similar though. So what you need to do is open Photoshop, then go to File and New. And I've put mine to, make sure it says pixels there and there. And I've put mine to As there you can see, 500 and 400. So I'll just click OK. And then this box will come up. So I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so it's easier to work with. OK. Come to your toolbar on the right, on the left hand side, sorry. And then you can see there, there's a little tool. Right click and go to Rounded Rectangle Tool. Make sure that's selected and then just draw yourself a rectangle about, about that'll, that big that'll do okay then just drag to the right hand side and you're going to want to go over to here into the layers on the right hand side which is here and then just double click on there that'll open up this little dialog box when you're here you're going to want to go to gradient overlay click on gradient overlay and then click on that bit there and you're going to see this on this little arrow here at the left hand side at the bottom click on there sorry double click on there and I'm going to put it to not completely red a little bit off red okay and then on the right one at the bottom double click again and then I'm going to put that a lighter red there, that'll do. Click OK on that and OK on that. Then I'm going to go to Stroke, go into Stroke, and then I'm going to put my Stroke to about something like 7. I'm going to put it sorry, on Center, and then I'm going to put the Blend Mode to... I'm going to keep that on Normal. Then the Color, I'm going to make it... Uh, like a pinky colour and click OK and then I'm going to bring the op opacity down a bit not too much, I'm going to leave it about 90% and click OK right, the next thing you're going to want to do is come over to the text tool, click on that and then click there and write you, uh, you Okay, then you're gonna make that, put that in position, and I'm gonna change it to about. Um, let's put it on 110 or 115. There we go. That's better. And then position it where you want it, so around there. Then I'm gonna come over to the layers, and I'm gonna click and go to duplicate layer, that's right clicking on that and duplicate layer then I'm going to call it tube ok and I'm going to come out click the little selection tool and then move it across then we're going to come over to the text tool click on the one in the box and uh, well click three times and I'm going to change that to tube and position it and click on the selection tool again there we go right now I'm going to go to the U again I'm going to go on the selection tool and then I'm going to press command T that's if you're on a Mac and if you're on a computer then press Control T and then I'm going to drag these little boxes so it's just as tall as the red box and then I'm going to do the same for the tube so I'm going to go into the layers and click on tube oh sorry first I need to press the selection tool and then apply the transformation and then go into your layers click on tube press Command T or Control T and then 
make that as big as the box. There we go. Now you're going to want to go into the uh, selection tool and apply it. Now select your text tool again. We're going to highlight tube and we're going to change the color to white. Okay. Now, if I go back into the tube, I'm going to add a stroke to this, add the stroke, and then I'm going to go into the stroke, and I'm going to put it to about 5. I'm going to put the position on center and the blend mode to saturation. Then I'm going to bring the opacity right down to about... 20. In fact, just leave it on outside on the position and then click OK. The next thing you want to do is click on the text tool again and click underneath the YouTube that you've just made. And gonna, we're going to write broadcast yourself and then we're going to select it all gonna bring the point down the size down to around 50 and change the color to a gray quite a dark gray and click OK and then position it just there there we go now what you want to do is go back to your layers on the bottom right and double click on background then you're gonna see this box and you're gonna put the opacity right down to zero and then click OK that means that when you create the image you'll be able to put it on a website or wherever you want or even onto like a wallpaper or something and the, there will be no background colour so it'll actually just be the logo and there won't be like a white background to it ok now what you want, you want to do is you want to come up to file Save for web and devices. When you're here, you're going to come down here and put the image size to 100%, so that'll make it as best quality as it can be, and put the file format to GIF. Then click Save. Give it a name. I'm going to just put YouTube. And then save it wherever you want, so Documents. Save. And there you go. Now if we go to my Documents, it should. Oh, yeah, it's the first one there. There it is. And there you go. As you can see, if it had a white background on here, you'd better see the broadcast yourself thing a bit better. But that's how you make a really simple YouTube logo in Photoshop. Alright, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.